Hello everybody, Luis Pozzolo here, uh, congressional candidate for district number seven in Arizona. Uh, we had the chance uh, to do a ride along with the TPD, Tucson Police Department. Um, we formally request them for a ride so we can see um, the heart of the problems in the community, uh, the drug issues, the criminality issues, the shoplifting issues. Um, to try to find real solutions, we must be on the field. Uh, I know it's been criticized by, by Congressman Grijalva for being in the front line. Um, he said that he decided to stay in his office and talk with people from his office. And I would say that that's the difference between you know, a bureaucrat and a leader. I want to be on the street. I want to be on the front lines to understand what the problems are. And after that, go to the people who deal with these problems every day to find real solutions. So thank you to TPD for the opportunity to write and show me everything. And uh, this is a compilation of, you know, what we saw. It's heartbreaking to see what is happening and what we're facing. And it's alarming that our government have no real plan to solve these problems. Thank you. So you don't know why? I, I understand. So you know why? I know why he was upset about needles. I don't want myself to shoot that. Didn't good. say you did, right? But, but I allowed. You're sitting with. You're sitting with. I don't think you do understand. I, I really, I really, this is a park. I, I'm sorry. And there's hey, if you had kids, would you bring your kids here? I actually do have kids, and I wouldn't. No, you if wouldn't, was, right? Why wouldn't you? Well, obviously, for the same reasons why anybody wouldn't, for needles and that kind of thing, nobody would want their children exposed to that. You guys need to police yourselves. Yes, sir. Do you, you, don't want, you don't want police to be involved in your lives, right? Yeah. So yeah. you guys need to match yourselves. Yeah. 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 No, just leave well, it. Just leave it. Okay. Take everything that's yours. Sir. Sir. No. I'm not, you know, I'm not a politician, yes, you know, no. we, are, we own two yeah. businesses, we own two yeah. businesses, uh, not being in politics, I wasn't interested to be in politics, I don't take money from any packs or lobbyist groups, so everything we do is small donations and our own money, we're spending our own money. Uh, we are immigrants, you know, we came 20 years ago legally, we followed the process, we became citizens 10 years ago. It's been amazing, this country gave us a second chance, so that's what we're fighting for, we want to keep it alive for the next generation. You know? Go ahead. He's negative 29 with prior contact and 27 reach turn to class. Uh, or actually, it's ID only. What's your last four of your social? Uh, 12 what? 12 what? 12 what? 12 12 awesome. Okay. You're no longer welcome at this park. Okay. Pack up whatever stuff you got and leave. Okay. All right. Good luck, pal. You're going to ruin it for everybody else in here. I mean, I mean, to. Yeah. If I, if I see you here again, we're going to be arresting you for this. Today's right. your lucky day. All right. Anybody else got information on who's selling the drugs? Uh, well, you can probably get a reward. Uh, 88 crime. <laughs> Good man. About eight of them or nine of them pop out. Well, they're still, still coming. coming. Yeah. They had some. So, but this wash is a man-sized wash. You can 
barely see heads going down all the way. All it goes all the way down to Fairview. Wow, I didn't even know it was there. Yeah, yeah there's it, a it tent separate, right there. It separates Holy Hope from Evergreen. So. Oh. Yeah, they're still coming out of there. Yeah. They're getting all the valuables. So it's been, it's a, not only is it dangerous, especially during that season season, and with the, the addled state of a lot of these people, if a big rush of water came through there, they wouldn't know which way to run. Or, or they might not, they might not be in a position to be able to take care of themselves. You know I mean? so but this is your parks. Yeah. yeah, they're taking over the park. They're just taking it over from the front. Yeah, I'm on the show, yeah. We put a lot of time in this park. 2000. 17, uh, May 15th, 7.30 a.m., 2015. When oh, the he remembers the day we Whoa. moved. And the time. And the time. I remember him coming by several times and saying... He, there was a homicide suspect hanging out with him. Uh, well, he'd come over there. That was uh, uh -huh. Nate, wasn't it? Nate was his name? Yeah. And the and first time... It and then we up. had a bunch of overdoses on your steps. And then it had a... Uh, uh, 30. 30, uh... Big pistol whip smoky, and y'all come there. For, that's when they come the first time when uh, they got pistol whip. Aren't you tired of it? I, I'm ready to go home. I'm telling you, I'm tired and off. There's a few of them I'm gonna miss, and a lot of them I ain't. No, I don't need you to pick up. I just need I, to get your I stuff. I would rather me, you know, how I like to. Nope. Mama said, leave it cleaner and make it pound I just want you to pick up your stuff. Yes, sir. Don't be picking up the. No, leave it. I want you getting poked or something. Or. I, I'd look. I'm searching for someone like mm -hmm. you to voice my concerns. And I will. Yes, I will. To, the, to Ward 1, to the city, to, to show that something like this is, should not be allowed because this is not just here. This is at other parks too, and I understand that, but this is what I'll say about this park. This yeah. park is headquarters. You got the Salvation Army, you got the food bank, you got Oracle that you can ride up and down a bus even on Speedway and go all the way mm -hmm. east, right? So this, this location is a focal point for those coming either into the city from the from the railroads or that have heard from other people that you can go to Estevan Park and set up camp and not have to worry about nothing. You can do all the drugs you want. Yep. You can terrorize people. You can threaten people and nothing's gonna happen to you because the cops can't do nothing, yep. okay? Yep. And, and, and I asked Ward 1 to please take a look at this and if, and if they can't change their mind for the people that are living out there, they need to change the mindset for the kids yes. that are in here, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Because the kids that are in here are the future, mm -hmm. yes. okay? They are the future and we can teach them that stuff that's happening out here is not right and we can help those people yes, in the can. future. Yes. Not Maybe not now immediately, but in the future, my kids that are getting degrees will come back to this city and they will help. Yeah. Not, if it's not all of them, one of them may. And I'm one of them, right? I'm one of them that came back to this city. As you can see, this is inhumane. Um, the solution from the city is just find affordable housing in the heart of the, you know, the neighborhoods where all the drug dealers live and house these people and hide these people in these houses and allow them to stay there while you know we're making the cartels and the drug dealers richer and richer we need to find serious solution we need to you know work all together a federal state county and local level to find real solutions for these problems um, it's heartbreaking to see what is happening as you all know i'm an immigrant i came from a third world country and this is something i didn't even see back then god bless you thank you very much